Ah, righty boy. Remember how I said I was sticking to the A's? This one isn't that. I am still occasionally watching some TV shows on the side, and as those finish up, I will be finally slotting them in there. So not everything's going to be an A. Ah. So I had been wa and doing a rewatch on Castlevania. Castlevania. So Netflix series, one of the few ones they actually put out on physical. So really hope they keep that up for uh, the sequel series. All right, this was circa 2017 when it started, 2021 when it ended. Ran four seasons, though the first season is definitely a little short. <clears throat> All right, so uh, Castlevania adapts the third Castlevania game from way back in the NES days. And uh, takes us kind of jumping off premise and goes from there. So, uh... Dracula is pissed at the world because the church kind of went and burned his wife. Yeah, I'd be mad too. Anyway, uh, he gives a warning that one year later, he's going to exact bloody vengeance. Nobody takes that seriously, so a year comes back later and... <laughs> bloody vengeance. So, and all the world is falling apart as Dracula is raising an army to essentially wipe out everyone in the nation of Wallachia. And probably continue on from there to wipe out everyone in the world. He's essentially trying to murder the world. Guy doesn't handle the death of his wife very well. So, we have uh, Trevor Belmont, the last of the famous monster-hunting Belmont family, is now being essentially blundering into this attack on by Dracula. But, and shortly thereafter meets... His two partners in crime, Saifa Belnat is a speaker, which is like a, a wandering storyteller with, then uh, she's also a spellcaster, and Alucard, the, the half-mortal son of Dracula. And they're making a point to try to, well, stop all this Dracula nonsense. Well... That's only about half of it, because the series keeps going even after the death of Dracula, as, well, nothing's that simple. And the world keeps turning. So, there are other vampires that are scheming, particularly Carmilla and her vampire coven. You have, then, San Germain, a vagabond musician, voiced brilliantly by Bill Nye. He is chewing those lines. Then, as a charlatan with some actual power and a distinct agenda. The two Forge Masters of Dracula are each having their own hard time. Forge Masters are the guys who make the monsters. And, uh, well, Malcolm McDowell's Varney the Vampire is also has his own agenda once you get to the fourth season. So, a lot going on. Now, the dialogue is really what sets this series apart. It is very well written. And very quotable. I, the lines of this, the line delivery is kind of amazing. So, I saw it likened online that uh, it feels like a animated D and D campaign with the way some of the characters are talking to each other, like the way people play their characters talking to each other. And I can kind of see that, particularly the conversation when the vampires are discussing vampire weaknesses with each other, and it is a hilarious conversation. There's so much going on that there's not... I can't hope to sum it all up because the series is not long. The four seasons really don't have that many episodes all together. It's 32 episodes across four seasons, so it's not long. But a lot happens in them. The pace is very brisk. But that said, they put a lot into those episodes, but it doesn't feel rushed. It does feel very well paced. The action sequences are fun and really energetic, and it's easy to get pumped up watching this thing. So, this show, it's a lot of fun in, on all fronts. Yeah, that's it. It is rather gory, so... Though, the animated gory for a lot of people isn't as bad as actual, but yeah, they, they don't shy away from disembowelings. Uh, yeah, the music is also a banger. Uh, so for me, this one's definitely highly rating. It's not a flawless series. There, It definitely does rush things towards some conclusions that 
after a while and definitely could have benefited from a few more episodes per season. But that's just kind of a minor nitpick. I'm going to give it a solid nine MacGuffins for me. It's really up there. I have not yet had a chance to look into Castlevania Nocturne, which just started last year, but I hope to soon. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. Definitely take a look. It's, I believe, still up on Netflix, so it should be relatively easy to come by. Otherwise, it does exist in physical, so. Alright, boy. Catch you later.